This days of our lives surprise was unexpected, but of so welcome. As those who watched today's show will recall, Theresa accompanied Brady and Alex to Greece, but chose to stay behind in their hotel room as the boys went in pursuit of Victor's answers. She opened the door after hearing a knock and said, Oh my God, Theresa was expected to cross paths with a close friend or family member on Monday, according to teasers, but in a town like Salem, that could have been anybody. Most of the locals are linked to her, but not, as she and Alex have often pointed out, each other. Theresa isn't in Salem, though. Who could she possibly encounter in Greece? When we take a step back and consider it, it becomes quite evident, yet it's still unexpected, that we have Shane back. He is the mysterious person that knocks on Theresa's door, according to a report in the most recent issue of Soap Opera Digest. It is logical. Since his own son was the one who gave them the Constantine tip, we know he was there looking into Victor's plane crash, and he must be aware that Alex and Brady are now there as well. Therefore, it would have been a terrible shame if they hadn't found a way to include him. The first season of Beyond Salem was the last time we saw Shane. Although it turns out that his brother Drew pretended to be him for the majority of the play, so we didn't truly understand him until the very end, it was not a given that Charles Shaughnessy would be playing the role he first played. When this was filmed, Shaughnessy would still have been busy creating havoc as General Hospital's victor, according to Days of Our Lives shooting schedule. However, a return to Salem, er, Greece, would still have been entirely feasible. After all, Wally Kurth has been playing both Justin on Days of Our Lives and Ned slash Eddie on General Hospital for years. And it appears that it took place. Simply look at the teaser below. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel daily bulletin news and stay with us.